Chester, another congratulation is in order for you. Uh, you were named one of the top 100 HR influencers for 2020. And in that sense, what tips you have to HR people now in terms of company culture, employee engagement, how they can do a better job, how they can provide a safe space or leading teams virtually? Yes, you know, I, I love that award, by the way, because there was no rank order. <laughs> yeah. Just in the top one. So I'm not sure if I'm number 99 or number one. So <laughs> for, for whatever it's worth, you know, for HR leaders, I think right now is your moment to really step up and be a partner. You know, there are always times, whether it's mergers and acquisitions or right sizing or opening new markets and so on, where HR needs to step up as far as staffing and so on. Right now, more than ever, you know, you need to be that human resource professional where you are making sure that your people feel valued, that they know that what they do matters, that they make a difference, and that they, and that they are celebrated for those contributions. Right now, so many people are all of a sudden working from home that have never worked from home before. And there's this feeling that I might be forgotten. Mm. I'm no longer in the loop. I can't just stop into someone's office. And so now more than ever, human resource needs to step up with managers and supervisors and coach them up on, you know, what is often called soft skills, which I say the soft stuff is the hard stuff yes. in this way of how are you connecting with your people? How are you making sure that they're getting the information they need, that they've got the equipment and the training to deliver on the promise now that they're working from home? Are you making sure that, that you're checking in with them and saying, how are you doing today? How can I help? Yeah. Right. And I, I love the question when supervisors say, what do you think? Mm. Making sure that people's voices are heard. Our research, again, based on over a million engagement surveys, is that when my voice is heard, when I feel valued, when I find meaning in my work, yeah. I'm going to be more engaged. I'm going to be more innovative. I'm going to feel safer. Mm. And, 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 and think about that for a second psychological safety gets a lot of play these days. I don't think we can talk about that too much. I'm not feeling safe because I'm at home. I'm disconnected. I maybe don't have a great Wi-Fi connection. I've got kids that I've got to take care of and, and on and on and on, right? Now, if I've got a human resource professional that's either reaching out to me directly or indirectly through my supervisor, making sure that they're checking in regularly, that I'm okay, that my family's okay, that I've got my equipment and resources, Boy, that, that, you know, that speaks volumes as to who you are as an organization, what your mission is, how you care about your people. And when I'm, I'm the recipient of that, boy, I'm going to give you more effort than I ever have because I need that support now more than ever. So in short, HR professionals, now is your, if there ever was a moment, <laughs> now is your moment to make the biggest difference to your, to your people, to your organization, to your customers and to your communities. Yeah, I totally agree because we need people, you know, the, the, the people are making the business running, the people are making all those sacrifices, all, all those process run. But if we, we always feel that the customer is the king, but employees are our internal customer and they should be also treated like that. Yeah, and I think that philosophy, while practiced still by some organizations, is, is, is a fallacy. There's no question. The order of your importance of, of people that make a difference it's it has to be your employees first yes. customers second and your community third because if you don't have the employees bought in it doesn't matter yeah. like the rest of it it doesn't matter the, the customer's always right you know what no they're not mm -hmm. they're not always right and those organizations that really do stick up for their people first keep them safe and engaged that will flow to the customer and then to the community. Yeah, if, the order has very much changed. Yeah, if you have yeah. happy employees, happily engaged, they will be engaged with your customers and the customers will be happy and the flow will continue. It's like a circle yes. rotating. It's common sense. Unfortunately, Maher, it's uncommonly practiced, right? It's common sense, uncommonly practiced. I totally agree with you. Thank you for those great tips, Chester. And for the audience watching, tune in next time for my final question with Chester. <laughs>